Hello and welcome to Interviews with Interesting People. Today I'm here with Julian Bellard. Um, hello. Hey Jasmine, how are you? I'm good, I welcome. Think, I think we're both pretty interesting, so we, we qualify for the title of the, yes. of the series. Of course. Yeah. Um, so first of all, I should ask you, how did you get into music? Um, I started playing pretty late. I think when I was about 14 or 15, I picked up the piano. And it was really out of an interest to just trying to kind of figure out Beatles songs, I guess. I don't know. Mm -hmm. We had a piano in the house, and I was just playing around with it. Um, but I had actually um, gone to a performing arts high school in New York City, so, which is uh, the, the school, LaGuardia High School for the Performing Arts, which is the fame school, which the movie's based on. And that sort of put the uh, foundation in me. But then when I left school, I wasn't really looking to do music. I wanted to do movies, actually, believe it or not. And um, it wasn't until kind of mid midway through my college, about you know, 18, 19, when I really got the songwriting bug. And then from then on, it's just, uh, it was like a drug. That's all I did. Okay. Have you got any more European shows planned um, after this, this tour? This was uh, not, nothing for the rest of the year. So when the year is up, uh, this this will be it. I mean, I just finished doing Holland and and, and uh, London and another couple other areas in in England, but um, but I'll definitely come back in the in the new year. And uh, I've got some probably some new music coming. So, you know, once the new music's out, I'll I'll get on an airplane and, and and come on over and play some shows. Lovely. And where can people find out about your music? Uh, you can go to julianvillard dot com to find anything or everything that has to do with me. It's probably more information than you, you would care to know. Um, yeah. Um, what's your favorite of your songs? Oh, wow. Um, you know, I mean, I always, you ask songwriters this and they always say, oh, it's the last song that I wrote. It's like the one that I, it's most recent to me. You know, I'm really proud of a lot of the, the music that's on the new album, which is the New York concept album. And it's something I've been wanting to write for a while. And it's, you know, it's about my hometown where I grew up and it's very close to my heart. And I really wrote that record for me, as opposed to, um, you know, uh, an audience or for, for radio. I just really wanted to write something for myself and, and something that... So there's a lot of the songs on there I really love. I mean, I'm, I'm very... One that's really close to my heart is this song, Jimmy Young, that's on there. It's about my dad and myself and this guy that my dad knew in the 60s, this piano player. And I remember when I wrote that song, and I, pl I actually played it for my father, and he, he, he said to me, um, you can't... You can't put that on the record. That's that's too that's too personal. It's too much information. People aren't going to be interested. And actually, when I first wrote it, I was a little bit embarrassed about it. Um, but usually, when you you feel that way about a song, that it means you're kind of you're in the right place. And it's very rare that I I'm embarrassed of a song that I wrote. Like I think it's it's too much or it's too personal. So yeah, I mean, if I were to pick one single out one song from the new record, I'd, I'd really really proud of that one. Mm -hmm. And in your new music video, you filmed it at your wedding. I did film it at my and wedding. Is it right that your wife didn't have any clue that that was actually going to be the video? Um, I had to let her know about 24 hours before because I just didn't want it to become disastrous. But nobody at the wedding knew. And it was made by a director, Jim Glaub, who's a really, really talented uh, video and uh, commercial director who's also a friend who was at the wedding. And basically the concept was that we cut up uh, he cut up the song into five second little clips and he basically played it on loop so that the people uh, who didn't even know the song, they would just come up there and they'd put on a hat and they just kind of acted out like they were, they were all a little, uh, little, little inebriated. And so um, what, when, you, when he edited it all together, it just looks like this seamless thing of people performing to a video booth. So they all had specific sections of the song rather than they all did the whole song. Yeah, absolutely. The best bit. Right, exactly. Ah, that's really interesting. It was very clever. The way he put it, and he put it together on the fly, and it was a really improvised situation. So really they were just looking at a big sort of um, kind of contraption of different little lights that he had put together. Um, but it really, it really kind of just kind of all came together. Cool. Yeah. And um, so with, uh, obviously, you have now got a band and you've also got uh, your solo stuff do you think that you're more likely to be playing in future with your entire band or, really or as a solo it depends on the show you know and there, there are two different kinds of shows I mean I love playing with other musicians it's really great and I think for the audience it's a real treat too because as compelling as I may be or can be or sometimes think I am um, it's always more interesting to, to have more things going on on stage. Mm. And what's great too about doing playing with a band, there's always a moment in the show when I can break it down to just myself and I can become get one-on-one -on -one with the audience. But, uh, you know, the solo show is very efficient. I can 
do it whenever, no matter what the logistics are. And you know, it's it's very um, it's a very great it's a great way to connect to an audience. So I mean, I, I think you know, down the road, it's going to be both both the band and and, and on my own. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for appearing on Interviews with Interesting People. My pleasure. If anybody at home would like to look up Julian, you can click on him now for some more of his music, and I'll put some links down below where you can find his stuff. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. My pleasure. Thanks, Jasmine. Bye.